Freudian slip. You're on a first date. You're relaxed, confident, charming. Then you say, you remind me of my mom. Congratulations. That was a Freudian slip. When your brain throws a word into the conversation that no one invited. Here's the science. Your brain preps speech in layers. Conscious thoughts at the front, unconscious stuff bubbling in the background. Your prefrontal cortex is supposed to filter out the awkward ones. But sometimes a suppressed thought or emotional memory breaks through the firewall. The result? A verbal glitch where your inner world leaks into the outside world. It's called a lapsus linguae, Latin for slip of the tongue. And Freud thought it revealed your true feelings. Modern neuroscience says, nah, just a misfire between language planning and emotional memory systems. Still, when your brain swaps nice outfit with lifelong emotional trauma, it's hard not to take it personally. So, if it happens, blame the glitch, smile, and maybe call your therapist or your mom. Doorway effect. You walk into a room with purpose, a mission, a goal. Then you stop and think, wait, why did I come in here? You look around like the answer's hiding behind the curtains. Nothing. Just you, your blank brain, and a bunch of furniture silently judging you. That's the doorway effect. Here's the glitch. When you move from one space to another, like walking through a doorway, your brain updates its mental scene. That transition triggers a context shift, and your working memory basically goes, new room, new thoughts. It's like switching tabs and forgetting what you were Googling. Your brain didn't lose the info, just filed it under past location and moved on. So next time you walk into a room and forget why, don't panic, you're not losing it. Your operating system just cleared the clipboard. Autopilot mode. You're driving home. Same turns, same traffic, same playlist. You pull into your driveway and suddenly think, wait, how did I even get here? That's autopilot mode. Here's what's happening. Your brain has a built-in system called the default mode network. It takes over when you're doing familiar, repetitive tasks, like brushing your teeth, folding laundry, or driving the same route for the 200th time. While your motor system keeps things running, your attention drifts. Your conscious mind checks out, and your brain quietly runs its background code. It's like your brain said, you've done this before, I'll take it from here. And you said, cool, and went off to mentally rewatch that awkward conversation from five years ago. So, no, you didn't teleport. You just glitched into low power mode. Auditory illusions. You're home alone. It's quiet. Then, you hear it. Someone said your name. You freeze. Look around. Nothing. Just the fridge buzzing and your imagination acting like it's on caffeine. That's an auditory illusion. When your brain thinks it heard something that wasn't there. Here's what's going on. Your auditory cortex is wired to spot patterns in sound, especially familiar ones like your name. It's always on guard, trying to predict what you might hear next. But when the input is vague, like background noise or mechanical hums, your brain sometimes makes a best guess and fills in the blanks. That guessing engine is driven by top-down processing, where your brain uses expectations to shape perception. So, no, you're not losing it. You're just running a brain that's a little too eager to be right, even when it's totally wrong. Deja vu. You walk into a cafe and freeze. The smell, the music, the barista's awkward smile, and it all feels copy-pasted, like you've lived this exact moment before. That's deja vu. The eerie sense of familiarity, even though you know it's brand new. The glitch occurs in the temporal lobe, particularly in the hippocampus, your brain's memory hub. For a split second, memory circuits misfire, tagging a fresh moment as familiar. It's like short-term and long-term memory overlap, and your filing system accidentally drops today's file into the already seen folder. Jamais vu. You stare at a word, like kaleidoscope, and suddenly it looks wrong, almost meaningless. That's jamais vu, the eerie opposite of deja vu. Something familiar feels strangely unfamiliar. It happens when the hippocampus, your memory hub, fails to retrieve the usual recognition link. 
The neurons that signal familiarity get fatigued, so the brain treats the word or object as brand new. Basically, your perception software fails to authenticate the file. Triggers include repetition, fatigue, or mental overload. Psychologists can even induce it by having people repeat a word until it stops making sense. Cognitive dissonance. You just watched a documentary about clean eating. You're inspired, mindful, enlightened. Cut to three hours later. You're face first in a triple bacon cheeseburger, wrapped in a glazed wheat bun. Your brain. This is a terrible idea. You. It's just once. This is my cheat snack, and technically it has protein. Your brain. Fascinating logic. Still disgusting. That's cognitive dissonance, when your brain holds two beliefs that clash entirely. On one hand, I want to be healthy. On the other, this meat donut is touching my soul. To reduce the discomfort, your brain gets creative and runs damage control. Justifying, minimizing, or straight-up pretending. It's like your moral compass running a shady PR campaign while you deep-fry your values. So if your choices don't match your values, you're not a hypocrite. You're just glitching. Lucid dreaming. You're in a dream when suddenly it clicks. Wait. This is a dream. And just like that, you can steer it like a video game. Flying off rooftops, gliding like Superman, even meeting historical figures. This is lucid dreaming. Your brain becomes self-aware while still in REM sleep. Usually the prefrontal cortex, the part for logic and decision-making, is mostly offline. In lucid dreams, parts of it switch back on. That rare combo of dream activity plus self-awareness lets you realize, hey, I'm dreaming. Most people try flying first, but some use it for creativity. Paul McCartney, for example, said, the melody of yesterday came to him in a dream. Semantic satiation. You're helping your nephew rehearse his animal report. You repeat the star of the show a few times. Hippopotamus. 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 Hippopo. Wait, that can't be right. Hippo. Pot of hummus. Your brain. System error. Animal not found. That's semantic satiation. Here's what's actually happening. When you repeat a word like hippopotamus too many times, your semantic network, the part of your brain that links sounds to meaning, starts to fatigue. This is called neural habituation, and it's your brain's way of tuning out repetitive info. Hypnagogic hallucinations. You're drifting off when suddenly you hear your name whispered, or spot a shadow that isn't there. These are hypnagogic hallucinations, vivid sights, sounds, or sensations that pop up as you fall asleep. They strike in the hypnagogic state, that twilight zone where the brain shifts from wakefulness into REM sleep. It's when your dream system starts projecting a little early. Think of it as your brain testing the projector before the movie starts. So if you hear ghostly voices on the way to dreamland, don't panic. Your brain's just beta testing nightmares. So which of these glitches have you experienced? Let me know in the comments. If you love this video, you will probably like my other ones. Check them out. Thanks for watching and see you next time.